Welcome to Binge Watchers, where we talk about the stories and characters we love and the shows they live in. My name is Ron, and let's talk about season one of Crazy Head. Crazy Head tells the story of Amy and Raquel, two girls who have one thing in common. They can both see demons. In Crazy Head, demons have been hiding among us for centuries, but only super special people called seers can actually see them and therefore fight them, or as Raquel puts it, shove poles up their asses. Amy at first understandably thinks she's crazy and seeing things, until she meets Raquel, who explains the situation, and now they have to fight demons together and we have our show. Crazy Head is brought to us by the creators of Misfits, and you can definitely see a similarity in style, especially in how Amy and Raquel behave, but more on that in a little bit. So first, let's talk about some of the good stuff. This show is a fun, quick watch. I'm a big fan of stories where the heroes are not necessarily hardened badass warriors, but unlikely people caught in extraordinary situations. And that is exactly what Crazy Head is. Amy is a normal girl who works in a bowling alley and gets kind of thrown into this world. Raquel has been fighting demons for longer, but she often finds herself in the same situation of dealing with normal life problems when all this crazy demon fighting gets in the way. I also really like the demons in this show, the bad guys. I like that they're basically just people, assholes mostly, but people. It was kind of refreshing and the show actually dedicates quite a bit of time to the bad guys. This isn't really a one-sided story. I mean, the bad guys are evil and the good guys have to stop them, that much is clear, but the show takes the time to have fun with the demon characters and give them actual personalities other than just you know, they're evil. Going into this show, I thought I was going to love it because I loved the first seasons of Misfits, I like supernatural stories, and Crazy Head just seemed like a fun ride, which it is. But all in all, I was kind of disappointed with this show. The story in Crazy Head is exactly what it needs to be. It's straightforward, it's simple, which means most of the show hinges on the characters, kind of like it did with Misfits. In Misfits, Nathan's character and the contrast between him and Simon was a big part of what made that show so much fun. It was very apparent that they were going for the same thing with Raquel and Amy here in Crazy Head. I don't know if it was the performance or the writing, but in Crazy Head, it just felt super forced. All the small interactions that were supposed to be kind of awkward and funny and quippy, didn't really work. There are lots of situations in this show where Amy or Raquel need to come up with some quick lie when someone asks them something and they don't really wanna say, well, we're gonna hunt demons. And the show keeps using that situation and at some point it felt like someone telling a joke that isn't that funny, but the guy insists on telling it over and over again until you get it. So the banter between the characters in this show is pretty much what everything revolves around and it didn't really work, well, in my opinion, at least. The story is fun, I'll probably watch season two when it comes around, but probably more like a casual background type of watch. Crazy Head is a super quick watch, six episodes, about 50 minutes each. It's not a show you're supposed to take super seriously, I've probably already nitpicked too much at it, but it's just because I felt like I should have loved this show, but instead it was just kind of fine. The show focuses so much on the banter and the jokes, so there's not much time left for character development. The more serious stuff about the characters and the things they have to go through does work well, but to get to that you have to go through a lot of the jokes and the quips that for me mostly fell flat. Bottom line, should you watch it? Crazy Head is a quick, fun watch. If the concept of an amusing supernatural demon story sounds like fun to you and you liked Misfits, you'll probably have some fun with this show despite its flaws. Otherwise, maybe wait to see if it picks up on season two. What about you? Have you watched season one of Crazy Head? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments. <coughs> Let me know in the comments down below. And let's get the discussion going. Oh. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. And if you're finding binge watchers for the first time, welcome. I'd like to invite you to join the binge watchers community. Come talk about TV with us. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe to the channel. You can also click around and see some of the other videos we have up on the channel. But in any case, keep binging. And I will see you next time.